Are you a new health coach who's wondering how to get started creating your very first health coaching program? This is one of the number one things that I hear stresses new health coaches out when they're first getting started in their business. They aren't sure what to include in a program, how long the program should be, what the price point should be, and how to make sure that their clients actually get the results that they are looking for. So today I wanna to walk you through this and break it down and let you know that it doesn't have to be complicated to create your own coaching program. I'm Kristen Harchis. I am a transformational coach and business mentor for new health coaches, and I help coaches feel confident and create a prosperous coaching business. So today I'm gonna to be talking all about creating your coaching programs, what's really important to pay attention to when you're creating the programs, and then some steps that you can go through to actually create a really great program that people will be excited to invest in. So first of all, I just wanna talk about why it is important to create your own coaching program. This is something that a lot of new health coaches don't feel confident about and then they end up buying a pre-made program that someone else has already done for them because they don't think that they can create their own or the process of doing it stresses them out so much that they just don't even want to deal with it. And I find that this is a really big mistake for a couple of reasons. And the first reason is that this pre-made program is not specialized to your ideal client. Um, and because of that, it doesn't guarantee that your ideal client is gonna get the results. And this is really, really important because it, we have to have an ideal client in our business, someone that we specialize in working with in order to really market our business and grow our business. And then we want to make sure that our ideal client is getting the, the results that they wanna be getting because this is how we grow our business and I mean, this is really the whole, the whole point of our business is to help people get the results. So you want a, a program that's specialized to your ideal client. And then the second part is that the program you create um, typically is created from your own experience, from your own um, education, from your own interest and, and talents. And so the program is really how you are best meant to work with other people. And so when you create, when you create your own program, that's where it's coming from. It's how you best are able to really serve other people. Whereas if you buy a program that someone else created, it's how they best work with someone else. So this is why it's, it's a lot of people are tempted by this, but don't, don't purchase someone else's program. Create your own. I promise you it doesn't have to be really complicated and I will break it down for you step by step so that you know exactly what to be doing when you create your own program. The second thing I want to talk about is that the importance of starting with a one-on-one -on -one coaching program as opposed to jumping in and doing a group coaching program or creating a group coaching program or a do-it-on-your-own program. And the importance of starting with a one-on-one -on -one coaching program is that it really gives you the opportunity to see how the program is going to work with someone and be able to tweak it from there. And this... I mean, it's, it's, this is really priceless. Like you want to be able to walk someone through it one-on-one -on -one before you go and you create a, a big group program for a bunch of people. So I always highly recommend starting with a one-on-one -on -one program and, and creating that personalized touch there so that you get to see how the program works as you walk someone through it. And then the second part is when you're first getting started, you don't have typically a big list of people or a big community to even be selling to at that point. So it doesn't make sense to create a group program because then you need a lot of people to actually fill up this group. Whereas if you're working with people one-on-one, -on -one, you only need very few people at a higher price point because you're offering that personalized service. Because So it really makes sense to start there. So those two things just to get started with as tips. And then now I'm going to walk you through some steps you can take. So step number one when it comes to creating your programs is knowing your ideal client. This is so important. I talk about it all the time, but it's really the centerpiece of your business. It's what you create your whole business around and definitely what who you create your programs for, your ideal client. So you really need to know this person inside and out. You need to know 
what their biggest struggles are, what their goals are, what kind of support they need in order to create a program that is, is designed specifically towards to this person. So when you create this program, you, you want to think about, okay, who is my ideal client? Get really clear on who that person is. I have a checklist that walks you through getting clear on your ideal client and your message that I will put in the link below. So if you're not sure who your ideal client is, um, download that and go through it. It will help you get really clear. Um, so start there. And then once you know who that ideal client is, you want to really know where they are right now. So point A, I'm going to call it, this is what they're struggling with. And you need to know point B, which is where they want to go. So if they could wave a magic wand and everything would be exactly how they want it, what does that look like for them? That's point B. So the purpose of your coaching program is to bring them from point A, which is where they are now, to point B, which is where they want to go. Your program is walking them through that transformation. So that is why it's so important to know who your ideal client is and know exactly what it is that they want to accomplish and make sure that your coaching program speaks to this and lets your ideal client know that your program is going to help them accomplish what it is that they want to accomplish not what you want them to accomplish. Like that's important too, because you probably know more about what they really need to be doing to get to the underneath stuff. But, um, you need to let them know that my coaching program helps you accomplish what it is that you most want, because that is what your ideal client is willing to pay for. So that's step number one, knowing that ideal client. Step number two then is to go through what so most people are working with someone who an ideal client who is similar to themselves someone who has gone through a struggle that you have gone through as well so when you're coming up with what you want to include in your programs it's really helpful to go back through your own personal experience as far as what you learned along your journey and what different things you did what tools you did what exercises what, um, you know, maybe health changes or, um, you know, whatever it is that you did through your process, make a list of all those things, all the different things you did, all the mindset things, all the health things, all the, you know, things, if it was having to do with a relationship, make a list of all those things. Um, because this is what you're going to want to include in your program, the things that you have really found helpful. And then also include, of course, anything that you have learned through any training that you have done or any of your schooling that you have found really helpful or really important or that you would want to include in your program. So that's making the list of, of all those things. And then to break it down into category. So a lot of people break this down into maybe like mind, body, soul, or nutrition, um, fitness, mindset, you know, whatever it is, however you want to break those categories down, just to kind of um, split it up and to break it up a little bit. But this is really what becomes the framework of your program. So knowing what you've gone through and what you're going to recommend that other people do as well. And then when it comes to creating the length of your program, it's good to know or to look at, okay, what is it that I'm wanting to help this person, person accomplish and how long do I really think it's going to take to get that person to that point B where they want to be going? Um, because for most people, it's going to take a little time. A lot of the clients that I work with are doing a lot of the deeper transformational, transformational work with their clients, and this doesn't happen overnight. It happens over a period of time. So for most clients, it really makes sense to create a package that is working over an extended period of time. Typically, three months is a good starting point because that's enough time to really see some change. Um, but anywhere from three to six months, depending on what it is that your client, what goal your client is wanting to achieve and what you feel would be a good time frame to work on that with them. And then you can look at, okay, do I want to be meeting with this client weekly? Do I want to be meeting with them bi-weekly? So maybe every other week. 
Um, you know, and it, it depends on what kind of accountability and support you feel that your client would most benefit from. Um, I personally really like working with people every week because I feel that it brings in a really nice flow and it really helps keep people accountable. Um, but depending on who you're working with, what their schedule is, how busy they are, um, you might have to spread things out a little bit more for them. So, and also just taking into account how you want to be working with people and what feels best to you. So that's how you can figure out um, timing and length of programs. And then also if you're working with people over an extended period of time, that also goes into to step four, the next step, which goes into your pricing as well and really changing how your pricing structure is. So really creating a program or a package for people to purchase as opposed to having people work with you for only one session or one month at a time. This way, your, what you're selling is a, is a, is a package and it's, you're really selling the transformation. So when you're looking at your price point, like yes, the number of sessions and the length of the program makes a difference, but you can think about what is the transformation that I am providing for people. And this is really, when you're looking at pricing your packages, these transformations are really big, whether you're helping people lose weight that they've been struggling with for a really long time, get over a health issue, um, you know, deal with relationship problems, whatever it is. These are things that can really change someone's life. So, um, you know, looking at that as far as putting the price point on something and really allowing when it comes to your confidence in charging a higher price point or the point that really makes you feel good and will allow you to be making the income you want, um, you know, really take that into account. Like, yes, I'm providing something that is truly a life-changing um, opportunity for people. And then of course, also taking into account who your ideal client is and what price point they're able to uh, invest in. And truthfully, you can, part of picking your ideal client is knowing where you want to be, what you want to be charging for your services as well, and picking a client who's going to be able to afford that as too. So that can go into your ideal client, but also in your pricing. And when you're picking the price point, typically it should feel like a bit of a stretch, um, both for you, like it should feel exciting, um, but maybe feel like a little bit of a stretch as far as what you're charging. And for your client, it should feel like a little bit of a stretch as well, as far as them investing at that point, because that way they take it more seriously. They put more commitment into it and they're a lot more likely to actually stick with the program and really follow through with things because they're like, oh, you know, like I, I invested a lot of money. This is really important to me um, and really worthwhile and I'm serious about it. And so I'm going to really make sure that I follow through on this and do everything I can to get the most out of the experience. So for both you and your client, it can be, it works to have a higher price point program um, because it allows you to be making the income you want to be making without working with tons of clients. Um, but it also really allows clients to get that personalized support and to really be investing in themselves at a higher price point so that they really follow through and get the transformation that they're looking to get. So those are my tips for getting started in creating your health coaching packages. I hope you found that helpful. Let me know in the comments below where you're struggling when it comes to creating your, your programs. Um, you know, what questions do you have? Where do you feel like you're getting stuck? Let me know, I'd be happy to help you out. Um, once again, if you're not sure about your ideal client, check out my free checklist. I'll put it in the comments or in the, the comments section so that you can download that and get really clear on who that ideal client is. Super, super important. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I create new videos every week, um, always helping you out as far as your coaching business. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe so that you get those videos. And then feel free to share this with anyone who you think would find it helpful. So thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Can't wait to see what programs you are creating for your clients. And if you have any questions, just let me know. 
I will talk to you all soon. Bye.